or are they signed? I uh, I don't know. Uh, at least they are not floats. So yeah, those integers are all you can save in there. Uh, so let's just say we used move. Uh, uh, shall I use the mnemonics? No. Uh, let's just say we told the CPU to move the value 2 into well, uh, RAM space 1. So we put two of these cans in there and they're, they, then they are stored for later use. Uh, if we add uh, two of them uh, or let's say we add one, we have three in there, of course. But if we use the, uh, we tell the CPU to move uh, stuff in there again, uh, we will, of course, run into uh, trouble if we expected it to be uh, three, because it's not. It's uh, going to empty its memory space. Uh, I'm sorry, the RAM's memory. And uh, then going to put, well, yeah, one in there. So we always need to tell the z the Z CPU CPU uh, exactly what to do. The CPU is not going to do anything of its own uh, except controlling the program flow. Yeah, let's talk about the program flow. Um, Script commands in the CPU are written in order from top to down. Uh, we have some handy uh, code editor here. Uh, well, yeah. If we uh, write stuff here, then if that's loaded into the compiler, the compiler is to uh, is going to begin up here and to end uh, down here. This highly uh, differs from the way um, expression 2 handles its code. If in expression 2 we have uh, a variable a that is uh, set to its value uh, plus 1, then the then by standard whenever some one of the inputs uh, change this is going to be executed again. However, if we uh, have a CPU and we have just some commands here, it's completely random, then the CPU is going to execute line 4, then line 5, then line 6, line six and then finding no more code to execute is going to terminate. This is different from the expression 2. The expression 2 will always loop the code. Uh, if you tell it to run on tick, that means uh, loop all over again whenever the code ends uh, in uh, given intervals of time. Or you tell it to have a certain trigger, it's always going to loop the code. However, in the CPU we have to do this on our own. We have to do everything about of our own. And yeah, let's close this code editor for a second. Well, yes. The CPU can only handle numbers and it cannot do anything about itself. So let's handle uh, the advantages and disadvantages of the CPU. Uh, well, first uh, I'll handle, I'll address the disadvantages. First of all, it's less fancy uh, than the Expression 2. The Expression 2 can do almost anything other wire chips can on its own. Uh, it even has a holograph library that is not that slow, uh, but well, yeah, uh, it's fancy that it has one, uh, but the CPU doesn't have all this stuff. The CPU has uh, basic arithmetics, a stack that we can uh, push things on, that means adding it to the stack and uh, take stuff off. and. Uh, but it ba it's basically all about uh, determining uh, values and then outputting them to regular wire, de wire devices or high-speed devices. Um, yeah. Also, a disadvantage is that uh, the scripting language is so uh, difficult to get used to. But you, I think, uh, using these video tutorials, I hope. Uh, you will uh, be finding this pretty easy. 
The clear advantages of the CPU are, first of all, its um, abnormal speed. Well, if the um, wire, well, I, I'll begin with the numbers. Uh, normal wire devices as, let's say, um, an angle gate uh, wired to, uh, or let's just have an a an add gate wired to um, the two um, random numbers. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, that uh, will have a transfer rate of 40 bytes per second. 40 bytes per second is not bad actually, but when uh, using heavy uh, ha when using using heavy arithmetics, it gets slow real fast and it will tr start lagging. Uh, e it will start even start lagging for other players since most of the wire stuff is uh, calculated client side, and that stuff who is uh, which is going to be d calculated server side will also lag the server. So well, yeah. The CPU, however, uh, transfers, of course, as long as wired to high-speed devices that are built for that, uh, with 32,000 bytes per second. Um, that is fast enough to uh, do a camcorder that can record, I think it's about 15 FPS on a 16, po uh, uh, 16 times... Uh, 16 pixel wide area. This is one of the awesome things that the CPU makes possible. And uh, well, yeah. Now that you got uh, this uh, stuff about not being able to uh, do any fancy things with the CPU, you might want to quit these tutorials. If you want to do to do so, then well, do so. Expression is a neat chip, don't get me wrong, but the CPU just uh, does stuff that the expression can only dream of. Of course, the expression also do, does some stuff, but that stuff is mostly cosmetical. Well, I guess we'll, uh, I'll end this tutorial here. This is Rick, and in the next part, we'll actually start with scripting.